descend into the depths of the lost worlds to meet his greatest challenge. could match the king's cleverness or cruelties. No man could match Goliath's might or Goliath's warmth. But when his younger brother falls madly in love, the boy becomes easy prey for the monstrous king whose greatest pleasure is inventing new ways to murder the unprotected and the innocent and bait a trap to bring Goliath to him. Deep in the Earth's dungeons, Goliath meets the fire-breathing, man-eating, three-headed dog of darkness. Then, with the might of a thousand men, Goliath brings down the wrath of the heavens on his enemies. Tell us no. The war of Troy is ended. The city devoured by the flames and destroyed. By different routes and with differing fortunes, the victors return to their homeland. Only Helen, the queen without a dome, flees through the flames in pursuit of her destiny. And her destiny drags her implacably toward the splendid city of Thebes. Give me a word of hope, and I will willingly give you all my love and the whole of my kingdom. I only ask one thing of you, your permission to leave. You have given me your promise. The gods are my witness. Whether you wish to or not, you shall remain here. Her beauty arouses sudden passion. Her very presence unleashes mortal combat. No! No! Alan! Help! You'll pay for your cowardly crime with your own life. Take her away. No! Alan! Alone against all, a superb hero springs to the defense of the unfortunate queen. A man with a generous heart and the strength of Hercules. Alan! His name is Arion. <coughs> the history which has handed down to us his fabulous exploit has called him the Lion of Thebes. Just a moment, Ramesses. You are playing with death. of the king of Sparta. Have you forgotten that Helen is at Troy and that Menelaus has kept the city under siege for many long years? This war will not be won if we remain entrenched in the city. Powerful than evil is the courage, the strength, the goodness of the strongest man in the world the against the mole men from the darkness. Many lives depend upon his bravery, that of Bangor, his most faithful friend who faces every danger at his side. Deep in the dark caverns of the earth, an enslaved people is condemned to work and die 
at the gigantic, terrible machines which give energy to the city in hell. While monstrous creatures accumulate untold riches, the only silent witness to the terrible suffering. If the Great Wheel continues to turn at this speed, our usual amount of gold and diamonds will be doubled, and you shall reign as the most powerful of rulers. A queen with such power, but a single ray of sunlight may mean her death. Power-mad masters of mysterious and irresistible forces, these half-human monsters spread terror and suffering on the Earth. Looting, killing, they destroy all living things in their path. Nothing can stop them but the unbelievable courage of Machiste, descendant of the sun. How many human lives were paid for these riches? For all of this? Tell me, how could I ever rule with you on a throne drenched with the blood of your slaves? This girl is the guilty one. She more than Bangor. She helped Loth and Machiste to escape. Tulak! Alice Moyab. Queen of Darkness has thousands of faithful followers ready to die for her. <laughs> Even Machiste is aware of her fatal fascination. But his task is before him, which he must accomplish alone. Do with him as you like, Katan, as long as no trace of his body remains. No ordinary mortal can defeat him. born as a creature of the sun. We will sacrifice you and win favor in the eyes of the goddess of the night. No! No! Then he must pay. He must look into the sun. No! No! Don't put me in the sunlight! I beg you! No! No! Anything but the sunlight! No! Kill me now! The appearance of Machiste has aroused hope among the enslaved people of the City of Darkness. It is a bloody unequal battle between an unarmed crowd and warriors who will kill without giving quarter. To save Salyura, princess of the people of Aran, the great-hearted giant does not hesitate to face new and terrible dangers. Machiste is not immortal, but he does not fear death. The strongest man in the world the latest adventure of the hero, told in the powerful story of the City of Darkness. The strongest man in the world, the last of the demigods, faces his greatest danger. The most exciting, suspenseful film of the year.